Hello everyone, and in this tutorial, we will be making the game of Pong in Unity. So let's get started by creating a new project, and for this we want to export in 2D, and it's this is your file path. It's really important to remember this for when we download our assets. For me, I just like to keep it in a, all in the same folder. I'm going to name this Pong. So, as Unity loads, I want you to go get your assets. In the description, there is a link to a Google Drive page that will have your have the uh, assets for Pong. So, what you do is click this, and then it has the uh, two bats and a ball. It's hard to tell because of the transparency colors almost matches the uh, bat and ball. But you click download and then just be sure to send it to the file no. and into your assets folder for your Unity project. So when Unity is open, you'll see it here. So now that we have our project, I just want to go over what this stuff is is. So when you start a new scene, you have a camera and that's it. It's just this blank space with nothing going on. To start, I would like to set up the play area for our game. So let's export these uh, sprites. So what you want to do is left click on your asset and for this one we want the sprite mode to be set to multiple because there are more than one sprites in here and our pixels per unit let's just say 16 it's really important to keep pixels per unit in bases of 2 like 8, 16, 32, 64 etc and that's really just a matter of scale, scaling your um, sprites so then, last thing you do is make the format true color. That should be it. However, we still can't really get our individual sprites until we go into the sprite editor window and drag these green boxes around our sprite. Or you can go up to here to slicing. Make sure the type is automatic and click slice. It will automatically create these objects. Let's name this bat1. Let's name this ball. And let's name this bat2. Alright. So, just want to put our bat and our ball into the scene. And the way I did that was by left-clicking each individual sprite and just dragging them out to the scene. So now that we got our sprites, if I were to click play, nothing happens. The next step is to add components to our game objects in order to make them work. And what kinds of components? First is going to be stuff for physics, because we already have stuff for where it is and what it looks like and which is our transform position controls its position on the X Y and Z axis we don't want to worry about the Z axis for now and that's really just because we're working in a 2d environment I'm just going to position them so they're all centered nicely and now that that's done can start adding the components. For these bats, what we need is a box collider which creates a square around the game object that allows collisions to happen. And we're also going to need a rigid body 2D. And what the rigid body does is allow us to manipulate its velocity component. Otherwise, if it just had the box collider, it would be like a solid wall 
it cannot be moved or anything, but it could be collided with. And we also want those same two components on our other bat, but as for our ball, we want a circle collider because the circle better fits to the shape of our object. And we also want a rigid body. However, it's very important that we set the gravity scale on all of our rigid bodies to zero. And that's because if it were anything other than zero, they would fall immediately right when we press play. Now I'd like to just finalize the objects we're going to need for our play area. For one, we're going to need a game manager. So I created this empty game object, game manager. And what this will do is keep track of the score. So the way we're going to do our scoreboard up here, we're going to go up to our hierarchy panel, right click, go to UI, and we have this text option. And what it does is creates three things, a canvas to display the text on, a game object for the text itself, and an event system that allows us to display certain text at different times. So, first thing we need to do is just tweak with the settings a bit. First thing we go to is this canvas option, and we want to select our screen space for our camera, and on this render camera, we go to main camera. And what this does with our, as you can see, is that our canvas is now centered over our main camera position, which basically means we will see our text when we're playing our game. Also, way down here you can see new text, and you can kind of see it when you're playing the game. The way we're going to improve that by going into our this view here for our text, I want to name the score, and we can change this now, so let's just say example, and I want this to be centered and middle aligned. So now we have to move it. Let's change the anchor point. Okay, so what you got to do is select your uh, score text. Just you can drag it using these arrows. And now that it's up here, oh, sorry about that. If I were to go into here, I see my text. However, it's much too small. We definitely want this to be bigger. Let's try 50. Okay, so now as you can see, it's disappeared. This is because the text is displayed. This text box is too small to display the text. What we want to do is set both horizontal overflow and vertical overflow to um, overflow. Now in my game view, the text is much bigger and clearer to read. Let's try 75 though. Yeah, I'm going to set this to an example. Let's say 2 to 4. Alright. And if you want to change the color, you can go here and make it white or whatever you please. The last thing I want to change is the background color. I could go in and create a new sprite, or I can click my main camera game object, go here to the color, and just make it pitch black. So this is our game area. In the next episode, we are going to go over bat and ball movement allowing the bats to move up and down and stop at the top of the screen and hit the ball left and right. Am I not even selecting the ball? Yeah, move the ball left and right and have it just bounce diagonally and off the top. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and goodbye.